Alright, hopefully any second now. The game sh there we go. Perfect. Hi guys, welcome back to the stream. I'm Lone Wolf, or if you're watching this later on uh, YouTube, I'm Lone Cerberus. Right, I've been playing this bloody game long enough now, so over the next couple of days I'm looking to finish this game. Um, let's see, how much time have I devoted now? 20 hours. And most people complete within 12. 12 and a half at the most. Mind you, I have been, obviously I have been exploring, as I should have been doing. But, yes, I'm kind of, I'm not fed up with the game. The game is very good, very, very good. I say very good, it's not, it's not a great game. Actually, no, well... If I were to give it a percentage scale, I'd say it was 75%, somewhere like that. There are bits that there are bits that are missing, and I've seen other people's reviews, I've seen other people's playthroughs, and they are right. There are certain things that could have been done better. There are certain things that needed to have stayed in from uh, from the previous iterations. Like this whole thing with the fire robotics. I really didn't need to go there. I don't even need the snow fox. I just picked up the snow fox because I thought it would be fun. And it's a fucking nightmare to control. And the fact that I've lost it twice. Um, and you don't, I don't need it. I don't actually need it. And I don't care about it. Um... The only reason I'm going to go and get it back is because it will make finishing the game that much quicker. Or I hope it will make it that much quicker. Yeah. With the other game, with the first game, you felt like you needed absolutely everything that you could find. With this, it's kind of like, meh, mm. Well, I can get away with not having that. I can get away with not having that. I mean, like for example, classic example, I've got the sea truck that I want. And all I've got is obviously the cab itself. I've got the fabricator module, storage module, and prawn suit module. And if I'm honest, I can get away without the fabricator module. The only reason I've got the fabricator module on there is because I thought I needed it for certain upgrades. And I don't, you know, I don't need an afterburner. What reason do I need an afterburner for? What reason do I need a horsepower upgrade for? I'm not going to go any bigger than this. But anyway, I digress. Let's, uh, I don't have got any other storage available. No, I haven't. You know, I can't even, I'm not even going to be bothered to get the, um, I'm not even bothered in getting the upgrade, the final depth upgrade for the sea truck because, well, I don't need it. I've got the prawn suit. The prawn suit will go to 1,100 meters now. You know, but anyway, I'm going to go and get the snow fox again because I can't be bothered to make another one. Um, and then I'm going across the bridge. I'm getting. Alan's body compart body parts. Um, obviously making Alan's body again, and then probably escaping the planet. You know, thing is, is I think this is one of those games that. I'd come back to it again, but I'd be reluctant to come back to it again. Whereas the first game, if somebody said, if somebody actually asked me to play Subnautica, the original Subnautica, on stream, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even hesitate. You know, the only reason I haven't got it downloaded now is because I haven't got enough memory in the computer. Um, 
But if somebody asked me, would I play Subnautica on stream again, I'll go, absolutely hell yes. The only thing... The only thing is, obviously, where I've played it before and I've completed it. And I've completed Subnautica a couple of times, actually. Um, the only thing that would kind of, kind of disappoint people would be the fact that I would actually... I wouldn't, I wouldn't speed run it, but I would finish Subnautica fairly quickly. Right, now this is where I'm going to need the Pathfinder tool. Let's stick that in one for now. However, one thing I will say, same as the same as the first game, the game is graphically it is stunning. It is absolutely stunning. And it just ooh, it's under there. And again, it's one of those. It is another one of those games where, like the first one, you kind of feel like, oh, I want to go and explore over there because. Yeah, you know, I've spotted a cave. Oh, what's in that cave? And I think that was done properly. Okie dokie, looks like I'm going to have to go up against Snowstalkers. I think Snowstalkers are better suited to land. Like I say, things like this, like, you know, you're in here and you're thinking, holy crap, you know, this is, this is gorgeous, this is stunning. I want to explore more. And you explore more, and more, and more. And the more you explore, you're thinking, my god, they've done such a good job on this. And they have. They have done a really good job on the exploration front. But it feels like they've done the exploration thing and then tacked a story on the end of it. And the primary story was supposed to be you finding out what's happened to your sister. And then if you completely forget about finding out what's happened to your sister it's almost like oh yeah doesn't really matter oh. a way to defend against these snow stalkers would be good right I mean, what upgrades are there for the Snow Fox? Let's find out. I mean, obviously this stuff, this miscellaneous stuff, that was in the first game anyway. You didn't need her to scan that or have that. Same as that and that and that. You didn't need them. I mean, the Fabricator, the Wall Locker, the Aquarium, that, yes, you did. This stuff, yes, you did. But... You're just thinking to yourself, I mean, I haven't even bothered getting that because I don't need it. 
The aquarium module, the sleeper module, the sea truck module, don't need any of it. Well, the sea truck, the sleeping module probably restore health, but, you know, there you go. Food and drink, advanced materials. You know, haven't got... Haven't got the upgrades for the snow fox. And there we go, we've got another glitch. We've stopped being cold. There we go. It's a snowstalker. Boost past the snowstalker. And we're back to fly robotics, and I'm pretty sure. I'm absolutely convinced. that I don't need to explore any more at Fire Robotics and even if I did you know sis, um, is it Robin or Sam? see this is it, this is just it, I can't even remember which character we're playing as, I'm pretty sure Right, we're playing as Robin. I mean, the first Subnautica, the character that you played as didn't have a name right until the end. Until the very end of the development of the game. And I can't remember what that character's name was. Um, and I am ge genuinely can't remember what the na name of that character was. But it was kind of... It was... You didn't really need to know it.